RG Tanner and this is Miss Adventures of a Schizophrenic and if you are a returning viewer you might notice something's a little bit different. I got my hair cut back to a pixie cut. Now to give a little history I first got the pixie cut when I was 17 years old. My mom I told my mom I'm going to get a haircut and she thought I said was getting a trim. My hair was about down to my shoulders and I came to see her and my hair was cut this short and she's like, oh my god. And ever since then, the pixie cut has been where I feel like myself, I feel secure. I was previously trying to grow it out to donate it, but it's just got to be too much for me so I'll probably donate some clothes, I'll probably donate some time, but I will not be donating my hair. And so one of the things I wanted to talk about is what makes you feel good about you and some body positivity because I know a lot of people have a certain identity and certain appearances for me that's the pixie cut usually I have my nails done too but I've been doing so much work on my computer and on my phone that it just became impractical my friend Rachel uh, she typically has her hair dyed some wild crazy color that's always awesome and here are some pictures of her and so she always has this going on for her and she's developed an identity within that and it makes her feel good about herself so go Rachel my sister usually has really long hair my mom has recently gone blonde and so whatever you want whatever you feel good I mean if your thing is to have long pink hair or short brown hair in my case and if you feel better with acrylic nails, if you feel better wearing a midriff shirt, it doesn't really matter what it is. Just find that thing that makes you happy. Make that connection with something that makes you feel like you are you. And don't ever listen to somebody's bad mouthing about it because no matter how you style your hair, wear your clothes, do your nails, there are always going to be some people who disagree with it and you can't, haters are going to hate, and you just got to learn to love yourself no matter what. Personally, the pixie cut has been a huge step towards me loving myself, and I will admit that, that that's been one of the biggest battles in my life, is loving myself. It has been a 30 year long struggle, and I still, there are lots of part of myself that I still don't like, and some things I may never like. But at least I can say with some confidence that I at least like my hair. And I feel confident. And so if you find that one thing that makes you feel confident, that makes you feel like you, makes you feel like you belong to yourself and that you can love yourself, find that connection. Find that piece of beauty because you are beautiful through and through, whoever you are. And it's just how you identify yourself as beautiful. That can be a great many things. It doesn't have to stop at hair and clothing and makeup, etc. Because what you have to remember is that those things only go skin deep. Everything else, the things that truly make people beautiful are the love in their heart, the joy in their life, the happiness they bring other people, the giving they give to their community, the wonderful things that come from within. Beauty really comes from within. And when you have that beautiful inside, then you can exude that outwards and give that back to the world. And it creates this force field around you that you are beautiful. And so never let anyone diminish the beauty that comes from within you. Own it, recognize it, you know, beloved. it. Love that beauty that comes from within and let that define the beauty that's on the outside. Never let the beauty on the outside be what defines you as a person because it, it fades. As we get older, we all turn wrinkly and gray. We shrink, you know, we get bunions. We all, you know, we, we age and beauty is a fleeting concept. And it is also very subjective. What one person sees as beautiful in a physical form and another person will not. 
So no matter what, I could have category A think I'm absolutely gorgeous and category B think I'm absolutely hideous, but I just have to not care. I have to know that this is where my beauty comes from, right from in my heart. And I hope that all of you can recognize that no matter what illness you have, what you struggle against, what you have to face in this world, you are beautiful inside and out. So let that beauty from within you just exude outward and let the world see that because the world that's what the world really wants to see. Because when you think of the people who are truly beautiful in your life, I'm sure that you think of people who are not supermodels, are not actors and actresses. I'm sure you think of your mom and your dad and your siblings and your best friend. You think of them as absolutely stunning because you know that they are beautiful from the inside out. And that is what really, really matters. And so if you're gonna take anything away from this video, I really hope that you realize that you know, the, the beauty we need to be focusing on as a community is what comes from within. And everything else will fade away, but on the exterior, find that thing that makes you comfortable and makes you allow your beauty from within to exude. You know, don't be shy to explore new things and feel comfortable in your own skin, because you deserve to. You deserve to feel comfortable in your own skin. You deserve to feel like you are you and you are gorgeous. And if no one has told you today, you are gorgeous. It's coming from me to you. So please check out my Instagram right up here. And if you're wondering what I go through on a more day-to-day -day level, I also write a blog at www.misadventuresofaschizophrenic.wordpress.com. I hope that if you have a serious illness going on that you are seeing a mental health professional, but if not, I encourage you to, but if you can't get into somebody right now, please call this number below. That is the NAMI Crisis Line. They are open 24-7. They will help take care of you. And so I hope you've enjoyed this video. Just remember, be the beautiful person that you are and take no prisoners. Just recognize that the beauty comes from within. So I hope you have a great day and I hope to see you next time on Misadventures of a Schizophrenic. See ya. Don't you think on my eye There's something so